gosh, you knew that I would never accept my fate if it meant leaving you. Right, my love? Not even if staying with you would mean a slow and painful death. So the only way to get me to leave you was to make me believe you were dead. And you chose to live a life without me, so I could be who I really am. That's why you tried to deceive me. But I know you too well, my dear old pal. We've had so many years together, so many moments of love, happiness, understanding, friendship. A whole beautiful life with you. I know what you tried to do, but I can't let you make this decision for me, Harry. Either I embrace my fate and accept what I've always been, and leave you behind. Or I reject it, and return home with you to relish the time that my illness gives us. It's my decision to make. Señores. Voy a darle a guardar. Ah, sé que acabo de romper el momento emotivo, porque claro, se corta la música al darle al pause, pero... De esta manera supongo que vamos a poder cargar y ver los dos finales. Creo que lo que debemos hacer es aceptar nuestro destino y abandonar a Harry. Eh, murió mucha gente para lograr que yo llegara aquí. Y él también sufrió mucho y... Lo que vamos a hacer, por lo menos lo primero. We had a really good life, but that's not my life anymore, is it, Harry? Not after what I've been through on this island. Not after all I've found out about myself. I can't fool myself anymore. I have to accept what I truly am and leave you behind. I'm going back home. A lovely melody. I don't believe I've ever heard more than a few notes. Until now. For years I thought I was sick. But the truth is, I was homesick. My poor health, the pain, the suffering. It was all because of how far I was. From here. Everything seems so far away now. No trace of pain, no trace of sickness. Nothing besides this place. It's so pleasant to forget everything else. Nothing matters anymore. I'm finally one of the thousands of minds connected to the I Corps. Connected with the Elder God. Bye, Harry. Esto es una bonita manera de ver lo que viene siendo una posibilidad, ¿vale? Que, que te voy a comentar yo en plan aquí que. Me imagino que, que, claro, una persona a lo mejor cuando tiene un cáncer muy, muy, muy chungo ¿no? y puede decidir intentar tratarlo o no. O cuando llega a un punto en el que ¿no? dices tú, intento salvarme y, y sufrir mucho, 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 mucho durante muchos años con quimios y mierdas y movidas y estar con mi ser querido. Que mi ser querido me vea poco a poco morirme y sufrir y sufrir y sufrir o oh, verga. Simplemente me, 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 me vino eso a la mente. No, 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 obviamente no, esto, esto no tiene nada que ver con eso. Pero me vino a la mente, ¿no? Esa situación en la que... Dos personas que se quieren, pues se tienen que separar de una manera tan dolorosa. 
como esta. Pues nos hemos convertido en un pececillo. Y aquí es cuando empieza Aquaman 1. ¿Vale? Esto era una precuela de Aquaman que hay que ver, ¿vale? Si quieres entender Aquaman, la, la primera entrega que ya están trabajando en la segunda y ojalá no salga la zorra esa asquerosa, perdón, la... Es que no hay otro calificativo para llamar a esa actriz. La pelirroja, eh, ya sabéis a qué me refiero. Encima se dice que se quieren y la madre que los parió, reventándonos más la, el corazón, como si no estuviéramos suficientemente tristes ya. Even today, so many years later, I still doubt whether I did the right thing. I lied to you for the first and last time. And even if it was to free you from pain, suffering and death, I deceived you. But I've paid such a high price for my deceit, Nora. Fate has punished me with a long and sorrowful life, with no other incentive than my work. Because that is the only thing I have now, my dear old pal. You were right about one thing, Harry. I would never accept my fate if it meant leaving you. I know who I really am and where I belong. I know fate has eternal life in store for me, but an eternal life without you is worthless, meaningless. So I choose the slow and painful death. I'm going back home. You staged this ruse because you love me. I've seen and heard everything this island has to offer, and I'm not interested. But true love is reciprocal. So I'm also making this decision because I love you. Our love is greater than fate, lineage, or, or all the pain I can suffer. The time we have left we'll spend together. When the time comes, it will be your hand that holds mine. And those beautiful blue eyes will be the last thing I see before I leave. Sir, you didn't find your husband on that island, Mrs. Everhart. I did find my husband. He wasn't on the island, though. But what have you been doing these three days? What did you find there? I don't know. The truth about myself, I suppose. And at the same time, the reason to go back home. I don't think I follow you. Have you ever been in love, Captain Hodgson? In love? You mean like in a romance novel? No, that's fiction, Captain. In real life, true love stories don't end with a wedding. They end with a funeral. And the only thing that eases that final moment of heartbreaking sadness are all the good memories lived together. Honestly, I don't think I've ever felt anything like that, Mrs. Everhart. But if you love your husband that much, he's certainly a lucky man. We are both lucky.
Okay, are you ready? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. One, two, don't forget the harmony. One, two, three. Sweetheart, may God bless you. <laughs> Honey, are you all right? I'm fine, Harry, don't worry. I can keep going. <laughs> no, listen, let's leave it for today. You shouldn't make any unnecessary efforts. <laughs> really, darling, I'm fine. <coughs> you need to rest, Nora. Come on, I'll take you to bed. Even today, so many years later, I still doubt whether I did the right thing. In the end, it didn't matter. You returned home and forgave my deception. We moved close to the sea and had a few more good years, didn't we? Until you left me at one sunny March morning. I wish I could be reunited with you. But fate has punished me with a long and sorrowful life, with no other incentive than my work, because that is the only thing I have now, my dear old pal. <laughs> <laughs>